mindset shift, any big shift you're trying to make in your life. Let's right. say it's man like people talk about manifestation all the time. Let's say you're like wanting to manifest your your multi-million dollar home and all these great things and then, you know, all the manifesting coaches out there say, well, you, you have to believe it and embrace it and be that energy and embody it. But you're like, yeah, I have negative 10 in my bank account. How am I embodying that hundred yeah. million dollar mansion? Like there has, there has to be some middle ground. You got to like your knees in there somewhere, you know, like you got to come somewhere. <laughs> totally. So- <laughs> totally. I know. I'm like thinking like, see these self-love accounts and like a t-shirt. I should just have a t-shirt that's like self meh. Like, oh my goodness. But it's so true. And I think too, like the manifestation thing, and I've been in personal development a long time, and there's a lot of parts of of manifestation work that I find really cringy. And it's like, it's not quite there because you can't, again, you can't go from hate to love. You can't go from like extreme um lack to abundance. Like your mind just can't make that jump. And there has to be mm-hmm. a middle. There has to be like just a baby step up. Like, okay, yeah. I I want to believe I could be a millionaire, but right now I need to believe I could get twenty dollars in my bank account, right? Like, and I've exactly. seen all these things, like write a check to the universe. How many checks have I written? Yes. To, like a million dollar checks I've written to the universe, and I ain't never had that in my bank account yet because there's no way I can believe that shit. It's just ridiculous. So we really have to like, and it's not as sexy. Like nobody wants to hear you got to just like your knees, right? Like that's not, but. Like you got to start somewhere because honestly, because mm-hmm. the, the truth is there, what's really hard is there's people like me and I'll say Gabby Bernstein, cause she was the one that triggered me at first. She, if you don't know who she is, who's listening, she's an author. She's a very skinny blonde woman in New York, very successful. And she's a manifestation. You know, she was written a lot of books mm-hmm. and she was like talking about how, like in order for you to, you have to love your body first. And I was like, easy for you to say you're already skinny you're already beautiful right and I, at this point i had like gained 30 pounds over this time and i was just like how can i love my body like my body is betraying me i'm gaining weight i'm doing all the right things yeah and so i remember just being pissed hearing her i'm like screw you so easy for you to say skinny bitch but then i was like wait a second maybe maybe she didn't always look that way and so i was like maybe mm. i do have to start there maybe i do have to love myself as i am now in order to get to where I want to be. And this is really tricky because where our mind goes is like, well, let's just say I'm, you know, 50 pounds overweight. If I love myself 50 pounds overweight, then why would I have incentive to get skinny or lose the weight? Mm. So like, we kind of feel like we have to hate ourselves into where we want to be. But unfortunately, Mm. sometimes there is something that we can't change. Let's say like a lot of women have stretch marks from pregnancy or like really loose skin. Like I've seen a lot of stomachs who are fortunately like kind of destroyed after a baby. And yeah. that's like, I want to love myself, but I can't like, and I can't change the skin. Like it, the skin is not going to change unless you have surgery. Right. So yeah. you do have to find a place where you're like, okay, I don't hate it. Like I, you know, I could have surgery. It's fine, but I'm not going to like obsess over this skin every day because there's nothing I could do about it. So there are real things and it's hard for someone who's like on their soapbox, like someone like me who are like, okay, Danny, mm-hmm. good, easy for you to say, you don't have that problem that I have. Yeah. That's the, what I was thinking when I'm looking at Gabby, like easy for you to say, you are already skinny, easy for you to say you're already mm-hmm. pretty. So it's hard sometimes. And I, I, I'm really careful about my privilege and where I'm at to say those kind of things. Cause I'm not in everyone's shoes. I don't have a bunch of loose skin for pregnancy or I don't have, um, black skin. And I wasn't, uh, like I didn't have issues because of my race. Um, so there's yeah. certain things that I don't relate to. So I do have to say like, you may have something you really can't change and that does suck for you, but you do have to get to a place of acceptance and going, mm. this is what it is. And instead of hating it, we're going to learn to just be friends with it at least. Cause we're living together. We're on each other's body. We're in each other's, you know, we're, we're in each other's space. So instead of like hating that part of you that you can't get rid of, like you can't cut your arm off mm-hmm. or you, whatever, just going, we're going to, le- we're going to learn to be together. I don't have to love you yet, but I'm going to just be like, you're here. I'm here. We're doing this together. And like, there's got to be a level of acceptance. So if it starts with me, like, I don't care about you. Fine. But that's a mm-hmm. huge, di- that's life changing when you, t- when you go from hating something and obsessing and always thinking about it to just not caring. That is so much mental space mm-hmm. that you have now that you can like do good things with and go on with your life. Cause I remember obsessing about my body and man, there's a lot of wasted years 
There's a lot of things I could have mm. done. There's a lot of lives I could have changed. There's a lot of things I could have done. Instead, I was worried about what the scale said every day and like pinches on my body and stupid things that really didn't matter in the bi- in the big picture. But we get hyper focused on that. And if we could just get to a place of all right, let's exist together. Like you're on me. Like I got this thing, whatever it, your, your supposed thing is um, and learning to live with it. So you can do what you're meant to do in the world and like create things and like change people's lives. But I think us wasting time on those things that we can't change is really just, I don't know. It's just a way for us to spiral out and not show up in the world in a better way. And we're not here to serve when we're just constantly focusing on that. 